What is going on, dudes and Judettes of the interweb? Thank you so much for clicking. I am AJ, and let's get right into this video. So today, we shall continue listening to Miss Rihanna's album, specifically her third studio album titled Good Girl Gone Bad. This album actually has a reloaded version and we got time today, honeys. So we're gonna listen to Good Girl Gone Bad Reloaded. Y'all already know what was to do. So without further ado, let's get into his reaction. Track and Ro Uno, Umbrella featuring Jay-Z, a song we've heard and a song we haven't heard in years, girl. Let's hear it again. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Damn, this is so long. Let it rain. You have my heart, and we'll never be magazine. But you still be my star. When the sun shines, we shine together. My umbrella, la la In between, you're part of my attitude. Yo, Riri, she was singing, y'all. If you are her ride or die, she will be your ride or die, okay? That's what she's saying. If you're here for her, she will be here for you too, all right? <laughs> it's so interesting the way she delivered the last uh, word, you know? When the world is stuck as fuck. Rihanna, the trajectory changed, I think, you know? Her voice sounds more mature, and it's just, I don't know. She sounded more confident on this song. Kind of like Punda Replay. Under my umbrella, Ella, Ella, eh, eh. Ooh, baby, it's raining. raining, raining. Baby, call it. Ah, Rihanna! Let's go, girl. This song is really good, I like it. Rihanna's part, I'm gonna talk about the um, production. Let's keep, I, I had to go back, girl. Oh baby, it's raining, but I got you. you come ah, let's go, Riri. Hold on, let me put it together more, girl. This is a classic, okay? I loved Rihanna's vocals on this track. Like I said, it sounded much more mature than the previous albums. And she sounded much more confident and at home, you know? The way she delivered on this track. And I also loved it lyrically. Dude, when you pay attention to the lyrics, it's like, damn! Oh, what a lovely song. Could be applied romantically or platonically, you know? She's like, yo, I got you. Through thick and thin. The good and the bad, I got you. I will be your support, okay? This umbrella, I got you, all right? You ain't got an umbrella, come under mine. Come into me, baby, oh, girl. Riri, you did your thing. I love this, power, pa -pa -pa. Track number two, push up on me. I would actually enjoy it, you know? 
It definitely has a very catchy beat. I loved it as soon as it started. And I also enjoyed her vocals on this track, especially on, I think, the pre-chorus when she was harmonizing quite a bit. And, dude, no, this song, this song is actually catchy, y'all. This song is just playing in my head right now. I'm damn here. I'm about to give it a goddamn mark, you know? I like it. Um, lyrically, the song is pretty straightforward. She's basically trying to, you know, get popped up by whoever she's singing about, you know? Um, yeah. Track number three, Don't Stop the Music, a song we've heard. Shall we hear it again? Please don't stop the music. Please don't stop the music. music. Hey! Oh no, don't stress. was well composed it started building up from quite a while ago I like that never paid attention to this song detail y'all To appreciate it like this. Nah, she did that. What a song. Let's keep listening. Nah, hold on, let me put a goddamn mark to this. This is a classic, goddammit. Damn, Rihanna really did her thing with this song. A song, girl descriptive you can imagine everything she's singing about you know she was just going to the club to blow some steam because she was stressed out and then she came across this you know mm, you know and she's like who who's that he came over to start dancing on the dance floor and they were actually aligned auras and everything all right and she was like damn tj you better loop that damn song, okay? Because it's me. It's doing the thing. <laughs> I love this song. Now, this is a, it was well composed. I love the instrumental, the build up and everything. Her vocals. Again, I keep praising her vocals. Track number four, Breaking Dishes. <laughs> Giddy, God damn it! The hell you been at? Oh, it's 3 a.m. in the morning. Stop making this habitual. Love it. <laughs> Just a little bit. I'm, I'm kicking. I'm damn. Hold up. That was that was dope. Yo, good girl gone bad indeed, y'all. All right. Now nah, she's delivering. She is delivering. Period. I'm a fighter me. Wow. I'm Come Yo. Yo. Period. What a drastic change! Now nah, this hoe said, you know what? I am here to stay, goddammit. Okay? I am here to stay, and this is why I am here to stay. What a change from the other two albums, y'all. Talk about breaking dishes, burning clothes. Good girl gone bad indeed. I 
ain't gonna stop till I see police lights. Uh huh. <laughs> Get them right to this damn song. What a song. All right. Rihanna kept up with the persona of Good Girl Gone Bad, especially in this song. She's like, let me tell you something. The girl y'all knew did, okay? Hello? Oh, Rihanna can come to the phone because she did. All right. I love this. What a drastic change. Kind of wish I witnessed the change back in the day, but oh well. Better late than never. Track number five, Shut Up and Drive, a song we've heard. Let's hear it again. Very rocky. Mm. My engine is ready to explode. Wow. So shut up and drive, drive. Wow, Rihanna said, I'm gonna give y'all hip hop. I'm gonna give y'all pop. I'm gonna give y'all rock. I'm gonna give y'all a blend of all of them. I'm gonna give y'all whatever I want to give y'all. And y'all will f with it. You know why? Because a good girl is gone bad. Period. <laughs> Bridge is completely different from the actual song. Go, 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 go. So shut up and ride, ride, ride. <laughs> Blue and red. Girl, girl, y'all crashed. Girl, what a song. After hearing it again, a couple of years later, uh, it's cute. It's cute. But it's not my favorite Rihanna song. Would I listen to it again? Yeah, if it came on. But I'm not gonna go out of my way to necessarily play it. That can actually change. Track number six, Hate That I Love You, featuring Neo. A song I've heard, but it's been years. Yo, Rihanna's vocals drastically changed. Somebody got the marks already. I like it. It's a beauty. Stripped down. Straightforward lyrically. They sounded beautiful vocally. Harmonized beautifully. Yes, this is how you harmonize, y'all. Okay? Track number seven. Say it. You should tell me Nice instrumental. Nice. Hey. Here we get Rihanna. You. I'm here for that. I'm going back a little bit, y'all. Hey. Let's drop. Really good, y'all. Rihanna, I like it. Yo, hold on, let me put a get a mark to this. I like it. I love the production a lot. If she were to release the song and maybe add and subtract a few things, 
it will bang, I feel like, you know? So I want you to say it. Don't be shy, shy. Her ad libs. Ah, really? This is such a drastic change. Like, nothing sounds bad so far, you know? I'm enjoying it. Even the songs I never heard before, like, say it. It's, it's still captivating. Track number eight. Sell me candy. The production sounds a lot louder than her voice. Maybe it's just the speaker. Maybe with headphones it's gonna be completely different. I'm not feeling this one like that. What's going on, y'all? Hmm? What's going on? Sell Me Candy is my least enjoyable song on the album. I couldn't really enjoy her vocals because the production was quite loud. And, uh, sounds like a filler track. And it also sounds like it was inspired by a Missy Elliott type of song, especially the production. Yeah, overall, my least favorite track on the album. Track number nine, let me get that. Drum is too loud, in my opinion, especially with the speaker. It's just me. Where am I tripping, y'all? I like Rihanna's uh, delivery on this track. Her cadence is quite islandish, and uh, this instrumental, y'all. Let me get that is one of my bottoms. I did not like the production. The drum that, uh, the drum playing throughout the song was probably my least favorite thing because it kind of took away from Rihanna's vocals and it's kind of hard to pay attention to what Rihanna is doing because the production is so loud, you know? Maybe I need to give it another shot. We'll see though. Like I said, Rihanna did her thing, but the production, I don't like it. Track number 10, Rehab, a song we've heard. It's been a while, let's hear it again. The entendres in this song. Oh, 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 oh. I don't want to smoke on the cigarettes no more. Now give it. Oh, 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 oh. Put your hand on my door. Next time you want to go on a date. Hold on, let me put a get the mark to this song. What a beautifully written song. At the end, she said, you know what, I gotta check into rehab because you are my disease. Before, she said, it's like I checked into rehab. Maybe you're my disease. What a song. I like it. I like it lyrically. I also love it vocally. Wow. Overall, it's a well-composed song in my opinion. Production-wise, it does sound like back in the day. 
However, everything else just makes it beautiful. Track number 11, question existing. <laughs> Did y'all hear what she said? Entertainment is something I do for a living. It's not who I am. Whoa. I hurt. I think I suck sometimes. <laughs> suck sometimes. When you're in the spotlight, mm. I don't know who to trust. Wow. I don't know who wants to date me for who I am. Who am I living for? Wow. This song is quite interesting. It has a very sultry production, and you would think that she's about to, you know, sing about stripping for, you know, a bull thing, you know, getting knocked over the song. But nah, it's actually quite personal, especially the bridge. Dear Diary, this is Robin. Entertaining is something I do for a living, not who I am. Okay, she got to keep her guard up, doesn't know who to trust, doesn't know who's a leech or who is for real. You know, this song is actually quite personal. I love it lyrically because it seems like it's very, very, very personal. And she was actually singing about what she was going through at the time as an entertainer. Track number 12, Good Girl Gone Bad, the title track, a song we've heard in a song we're gonna hear again. In the club with a freaky dress song. Leave we gone forever. Don't be the reason. You better learn how to treat us back. Sing it, girl. Good girl. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Established. This this was the turning point for Rihanna. This was it. Girl, who? She did her thing, okay? Easy for a good girl to go back. Ask us where you went, we don't, don't know and don't care. Ask us all along. It's your metal! Let's go! Girl, hold oh, god damn. Alright? She brought back the interest of the bridge. I, like I said, slept on Rihanna and I, I didn't pay attention to a lot of her songs. Cause the one so good girl go back We go forever Yo, Rihanna <laughs> Hold on, I got a mark This, this is a Hold on, I said I said hold on, I put it in mark How you don't go hold on, I put it in mark The stop my arm The hell Girl, my bad <laughs> Anyways, this song, that song was a classic. <laughs> that cover of God, girl. That song, <laughs> this song is a classic, all right, in my opinion. And it's straightforward lyrically. She, she couldn't take it anymore. She chose her sanity and peace over a toxic relationship. She was sick and tired of the sight pieces, okay? And whatever she said was true. When you put somebody in a bad situation, you bring out the worst in them. You know, you see things you've never seen before. And she didn't want to get to that point. And she was like, you know what, let me, let me, let me get out of here. Once a good girl goes back, 
She's gone forever, honey. All right. Track number 13, Disturbia, a song we've heard. Let's hear it again. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Feels like I'm going insane, yeah. It's a thing to see. I honestly can't think of a time I thoroughly enjoyed Disturbia as a song. It's probably one of my least favorite Rihanna singles that I heard. I don't hate it, y'all, but I don't like it or I don't love it, you know? If I didn't hear Disturbia for the rest of my life, I would be okay basically you know it's not something that i seek but again it's a pretty decent song i can understand why people would like it but i don't know this just it's just i don't have a connection to it as much as i do other rihanna singles track number 14 take a bow a song we've heard let's hear it again <laughs> How you do it, okay? Hold on, let me put it getting marks. What a classic song, a beauty, okay? Straightforward lyrically, girl. She was out. The person from rehab did too much, and she was like, you know what? Take a bow, go, okay? Be gone, honey. We done. All right. I love this song. She sounded beautiful. To me, it's timeless, and it's a beauty. Track number 15, last track of this album, If I Never See Your Face Again, featuring Maroon 5. I don't think I've heard this, y'all, because I do not recognize the title. But, let's find out. <laughs> That was If I Never See Your Face Again, and I gotta say, not my favorite track. It sounds out of place too on this album. It kind of sounds like one of those songs um, artists usually put on a deluxe version of their album. It doesn't, doesn't really fit on this album. I didn't like the collaboration between Maroon 5 and Rihanna vocally. Uh, yeah, not my favorite track on this album. If I were Rihanna, I probably would have ended it on Take About. You know, this one, oddball for me. With that said, well, we have finally come to the conclusion of this album. And I gotta say, girl, did a full 180, okay? This is a 180 from the first two albums and I have a feeling the trajectory of Rihanna just changes. This was a pretty good album. It was well, it was, it was well composed in my opinion. It was filled with bangers, timeless songs. What were some of my favorites you guys? Oh bitch, you don't already know. I'm about to let you know, you ready? So, we've got Umbrella 
Don't Stop the Music, Breaking Dishes, Hate That I Love You, Say It, Rehab, Good Girl Gone Bad. Those are my favorites. What about you? What were some of your favorites when you initially heard this album? And what songs have grown on you as you've listened to this album over the course of time? Please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. If you have any other recommendations, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll be more than happy to watch or listen and react. In the meantime, I will TTYL. Bye!